Hi, and welcome to another video in the R Hate CSA video series. Today's video is on Use Boolean Settings to Modify System SE Linux Settings. So this one's another continuation for the SE Linux uh, series. Pretty much it wraps up the uh, RHCSA series. So uh, we're going to just discuss basic Boolean means we got a uh, an on or an off essentially for this. Um, so a, tr a true or false. Um, in this case, it's on and off. Um, so what we're going to do is first we're going to get all the um, booleans we can set with SE Linux. Um, we're going to use um, this. There's a get SE ball to get those values. Then there's a set SE ball to set the values, and then there's an SE manage boolean minus L, which gives you more detail about the various booleans that are available. So first things first, let's go straight into the terminal. And we'll have to be sudo again because this is uh, a privileged action. OK, so first thing to do is get se bool. So get, yep, se, uh, se linux and bool meaning boolean. And then it's minus a to get all of all values. And then a pipe so if you do just do minus a you'll just get a long list um, which is pretty um, difficult to read through but you can obviously scroll through and have a look if there's anything you're particularly looking for but as always I'd recommend something like a grep um, to filter that value so let's do a grep um, and I think we'll use the virtual box one so there's a virtual box value so let's just search for virtual box so you can see use underscore virtual box is the boolean and you can currently see it's off in this value here so we can actually look a bit more um, detail with this because we've got um, by default the um, se linux troubleshooting server installed so you can do se manage boolean minus l and you can see there's again a long list as well so let's do a clear and do that again and just grep for VirtualBox spell that right and this time you get the same use as VirtualBox we can see it's uh, by default it's off and it's currently off and we've got allowed to use VirtualBox so in this case I'm actually am using VirtualBox so it's probably recommended to actually enable that um, it means that I do get some uh, currently get some errors because there is a um, an actual change in the way VirtualBox um, does this uh, works with SE Linux and in that case we have to use this use VirtualBox option um, actually turn it on to enable it to work properly when we have kernel updates because I think it currently is trying to write to a particular directory uh, there's a particular log file it's trying to write and as it does that um, as part of the kernel updates and it's obviously got a hook into the kernel uh, yeah no if you don't get anything from this se manage uh, running this app uh, command you may not have the se troubleshoot server installed so just do a dnf install se se troubleshoot that's it trouble shoot hyphen server And you can see in our case we've got it already installed but yeah that's just in case you do need to install that um, so it's just dnf install se troubleshoot hyphen server so se again se linux so a lot of the time you'll see se is just shortened for se linux so se troubleshoot server hyphen server so that will give you that se manage stuff in there so you've got that values here so we can actually do a set se so if we go back to the uh, clear that we can do the get se ball again minus a and then grep virtual box and got the off and then we can do a set se ball minus a uh, sorry minus p capital p for permanent so you can obviously do a a non-persistent set if you wanted to but i think probably we, we know what we're doing here so we can just set that so it's use underscore virtual box 
and then on. So set the boolean of use uh, VirtualBox to on and just hit press enter. That'll take a few seconds because it's updating the policy and we can do the same command as above. We can now see it's on. So that's pretty much all you need to cover really for the boolean settings to modify um, really with SE Linux obviously there are a hell of a lot of them and there's stuff around um, Samba like FTP uh, maybe there's even HTTP stuff as well so just uh, you can see there's a hell of a lot of stuff but yeah so you can like for example um, HTTP can connect to FTP so you may have to do that I set that boolean to allow SE Linux to work with these various values so you maybe have to allow it to off with uh, PAM or uh, all these different options to use as NFS, OpenStack for example so you could do a double search for example so we could do a grep HTTP and then on top of that grep for open so we get the uh, HTTP OpenStack values so as always as I mentioned um, pretty much in every video we can do a man on these page values so get se bool and we get the get this se linux boolean values and it just tells you about the various booleans uh, you can obviously say a set request a specific value if you know exactly what it is so you could just do um, like they mentioned there we could just do um, se manage what we can do let's do a get get se ball and then just say use underscore virtual box whoops virtual uh, box and you can see it's on so just using that you can obviously if you know the exact value you're looking for which is probably unlikely uh, you can actually see the value itself for what it is so that's the man page. Uh, obviously, it's probably an info page as well. These things are getting really good about mining that. So you can see again a bit, but the options there. So it's only really the minus a for that um, uh, command. And we can do a man on set se bool, and we can see the option. We can see the written topology to disk. So persistent. Um, so we can see the options there. So the main thing obviously is the minus p to make it persistent there and again we'll have an info page for this and then finally we can do an info on se manage and you can see all the different se manage obviously quite big um, but you've also got the boolean one option in there under page eight so and finally uh, we can do a man on se manage as well we can see all the information that's held there as well okay well uh, first thing i just want to say before the video i close the video um just say a massive thank you to everyone that subscribed um because i've now reached the 1000 subscriber goal which is absolutely fantastic is um it's what one of my main aims have been to get with this channel so i uh, really appreciate everyone's uh, subscription and and i just want to reach the next goal now um so guys um if you haven't subscribed already please um, click subscribe un uh, underneath um, and while you're there you might as well hit the bell icon to get notified of any new videos as well um, if you do like enjoyed this video please like the like the video it, it helps um, boost my rating up in YouTube and also um, check out my sponsors for so and also um, just now just popped the um, ways you can help me out so I've got the Kofi page for any small donations. So essentially, Kofi as in buy me a coffee. Um, so if you if that's something you're uh, interested in doing, please um, please uh, buy me a coffee. That'd be fantastic. We've also got my Tea Public. Um, got some shirts and all kinds of other merchandise. If that's something you're interested in. Um, and then finally, I've just put my Discord um, server details there. So if that's something again, that's something you're interested in. Um, asking me more in-depth questions um, I will link uh, link that to, in the description as well so yeah all the links are in the description also some more information about the command line I've provided here and also my website as a link 
um, to check that out. So yeah, thanks again for your subscription and uh, viewing this video. Uh, I'll catch you in the next video and we uh, roll on towards the end of the RHCSA series. Uh, thanks again guys, so catch you next one.